Hopefully everybody gets back in. I really fucking hope. Alright, I got three viewers again. It appears as though we're black back in. I've rebooted the game. Yay! And we're back. Demented is now appearing online. I have now received his invitation. Okay. I am going to go enter radio silence now, Mr. B and uh, Midway. We can hear you. I'm going to keep an eye on the chat just in case someone's like, we can't hear anything or this is all terrible. So just in case anything <laughs> happens. But um, here we go. Blurs for the Blurs finals kicked off. Strong Bad's awesome team versus all the angry ears. Here we are. Good luck, gentlemen. Yes, good luck. So, what do you think's gonna happen here? Uh, I would say that the biggest thing to watch for is the lack of tackle on the awesome team versus the dodge that's very prevalent on the Stark Elf team. That could be a problem. Yeah, a lot of dodge not having any tackle. It's gonna make defense very difficult. There's uh, very limited ball handling skills for the Chaos team, so if the Dark Elves put a lot of pressure on, that can cause some issues. Right. Uh, I haven't actually checked their lineups. Uh, they have both teams, old Angry Gears, in their last game. They did a lot of damage, had a lot of armor breaks. Do you think we're going to still see more of the same? Um, yeah, you know, Chaos, they hit hard. So, yeah, the Chaos Warriors, he's got uh, two of them with Mighty Blow. One of them has a pile on to add on to that. And two of them have Jump Up. So if the Dark Elves forget about them having Jump Up, that, that could be a surprise. Yeah, that's, well, that's the one advantage that Dark Elves are going to have going in is the mobility, and jump up is going to kind of even a little bit of that out. That will help on defense. And the, let's see, as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, they have one play, one piece with guard, so he might be hanging around the ball carrier. Uh, they yeah. chose dodge over block on some of their linemen. They have a, a nice witch elf with block and tackle. Well, now, what do you think about the decision to add the dodge over block? On, on uh, the it really game? depends how he plays them. If he plays them like Wood Elves, it'll certainly help. Uh, if he tries to go more of a runny, bashy team, I would rather have the block. Well, now, see, the, uh, some of the big things with the difference between dodge and block, and I think that's a mistake I've made with my elf teams, is a lot of times your initial instinct is go for block first. But dodge actually gives you a lot more benefit because on a defender stumbles, uh, your player's not going to go down, but it also gives you the reroll for dodging out. Yeah, I mean, if it's it's just like I was saying, if you're playing them as a more of a dodge, uh, less marking, more screening, yeah, it's definitely the way to go. But I think if you're going to get engaged with the opponent pieces, block is going to serve you better. Sure. Um, yeah, so I'm expecting to see more of a uh, dodgy game from... Game still is not showing up when I search. Um, oh, yeah, they're already setting up on the field. I'm watching it through the um, Twitch. Oh. Yeah, it nothing's... seems to be so delayed when you go through Cabal Vision. Um, I am getting, still getting that feedback from you. Uh, do you have Let me see if I can lower the TV the showing this, Twitch? Is that better? I'm not hearing anything right now. Yeah, moving as far from the TV as possible. Oh, okay.
It'll be interesting to see how he uses his new strength four piece. Still not getting anything. Yeah, this cabal vision, and I think a lot of this is they're just not dedicating the server space that they initially planned for Blood Bowl. <laughs> what was Stymie saying? The delay. Yeah, this delay is killer. So even for me to be able to pull up the thing for the game. And actually, I'm watching it via Twitch, so it, hopefully it's on point. Dark Elves and Norse, right? Dark Elves and Chaos? Or Chaos, I'm sorry. A very interesting setup by the Dark Elf team. This is kind of odd. I don't think the Chaos team has a single mutation. Wow, that is... Uh, that is different. Um, now, as far as for your ball carriers, uh, you do get a better uh, percentage to pick up taking sure hands over the third arm. Because um, what the third arm does is just treats it like you have agility four for pickups. Right. Um, so it gives you a 83% to pick up the ball, but the reroll for sure hands actually, I think you may say about a 92% total, uh, 67 toys. Yeah. Right. Now we've got a movement allowance seven beast man. I'm actually kind of surprised that he took the movement allowance. So the perfect defense is coming into play. He's changed that lineup quite a bit. That we got dodge and block on beast man. Does he have a designated ball carrier? I would assume it's the blodger. No, that's interesting. Not going, not taking sure hands. Oh, so, an armor break. Oh, and a KO to start the game. So now, what approach do you think we're going to see here from Stymie? I mean, I think he's going to have the... Ooh, had to use a re I think it there. just amounts to a lot of blunt force trauma. Right. Uh, I think it's going to be a good idea for Stymie. Anytime you're playing elves, as I said before, the best strategy you can have is to make them roll dice. So yeah, I think marking them... Uh, they say you have a lot of dodge, so I don't know if just marking them is going to be as effective as it would normally be without all of that dodge. Oh, and we're seeing a piling on here. Oh, new armor break. 
Oh, see, I'm delayed from you. Because now I'm just seeing the pylon. Get on the Cabal Vision, maybe. Should I, are you on Cabal Vision? Maybe I should, should switch to that. Yeah, I'm on Cabal Vision. Okay, let me switch. Okay. <laughs> now, with Stymie using the piling on, do you, right now, I think that he's making a big, big mistake. What are you doing here? By using the piling on here. You'd rather have the piece standing? Well, yeah, because right now, if... Uh, Demented, if he pushes strong mat, all he needs is a push there. And he's got clear access to get five pieces around that Chaos Warrior for a foul. Which is probably a good idea, because if you can remove that piece, that's one of the better pieces on the Chaos team. Right. Honestly, I would take the opportunity, uh, I would do some head hunting here. And, uh... And that piece has jump up, so you really have to do it now. Right. Uh, right now, uh, what I would do in this situation is I would blitz uh, Fimir down, get the two die block on strong mad. As long as you can at least get a push, then... Uh, yeah, surround. Uh, well, he looks like runner. he's setting up for a blitz on the ball carrier. Uh, yep, he's marking the back piece of the cage. And this is going to be a two die attack. This could be a sack. <laughs> I love it. Bandhill going in for the and blitz. Got it. Up. Oh, pow. And a fortunate favorable bounce. bounce for the Delves. Yes. Okay, so now I'm caught up. That's a nice feeling. Yes. Um, this is definitely a good situation. Um, so I, I. You can never say it's a wrong move to take down the ball carrier, but I do think that it's that he does need to still take this opportunity to uh, to get a foul in here on Homestar Runner. Well, there's a, there's enough Dark Elves on the ball and in that vicinity that, yeah, he can prioritize taking up a piece rather than picking up the ball because it's going to be hard for Chaos to pick it up as is. Right. Right now, it's not impossible. He can still get two dad blocks on both of the elves. Yeah. So you know, through uh, using a blitz, he can he can clear those elves off that ball. Mm. He's certainly putting the pressure on. Looks like this is very very good moves. Uh, that we saw from all angry years. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've had the pleasure this... of playing versus him. He's a he's a quality dark elf coach. Yeah. Uh, I, I can say I am not good with dark elves. Dark elves. Well, I think Steve more a curse was involved somehow. Yes. I think oh. his dark elves. I think his dark elves pulled some shenanigans. Now we saw a double dodge failure. Two and two. Mm. That's that tough. Hurts. That's very tough, because I don't know if that was exactly the first move you'd want to have done. No. Like, he he hasn't stood anybody up. There's a there's far too many Dark Elves that are uh, not And that much. foul is still just sitting there as a, a nice mouth-watering morsel. But it doesn't look like Demented's going to take the bait on it. Oh. Ooh, now we're seeing the one die block. Yeah, I think he'd like to get up one touchdown before he starts risking expulsions. 
Right, and that that is definitely the safer move. That's probably why he's in the playoffs and I'm not. <laughs> I, I play a little <laughs> bit risky when uh, with that. I mean, I've tried getting better and not throwing any unnecessary blocks. But it's so hard to resist. I mean, that's such a fun part of Blood Bowl is hitting the other pieces. I know. Um, I mean, there's many a times where I have a single dice and it would be more prudent to keep the piece up and not risk it, but oh, it's so, uh, I want to see a pow. Is she going to push him into the ball? Yep. Yes, she did. Oh, oh. 50 50, let that go. Another uh, uh, pow. Now, let's see this positioning. I mean, he does still have free elves that can get after that ball. It is bad that my first instinct is to foul. <laughs> and look at that. The, the new four strength piece has a clear shot for the ball. Yeah. Then without dodging. Uh, I mean, even even in one on one, the best he's gonna get is a one die block if he blitzes that strength four piece. Um, right. It would it be it would protect him using him as a ball carrier. The blitz now with the uh, a solo beast man is not so worrisome. Right. He knows he has to get his shots in when he can because that's going to be the key. And the poop Ooh, smith. Just and there goes the poop smith. The poop smith is going to the toilet. Pick up. Got it on the reroll. Oh, and blitzing with the ball carrier. Interesting. That's ballsy. Definitely a brave move. Now he's got to take at least one go for it. Which he makes, easily. That's a very good dodge, a good safe go. dodge. Yeah, and a good placement. Now, Homestar Runner still has uh, a blitz opportunity here. Yeah, he's good. he's a jump up piece. Yeah, that jump up. Uh, Might have been forgotten that he has jump up. Here he goes. Yep. Oh, but he did not blitz. He's going to use him to mark the ball carrier. Yeah. And then I imagine Pom Pom is getting the blitz call. But, uh, is just going to take the one die block? Or is he going to try to find, get him a help? Get him some help by. You'd have to make two go forwards for strong mad. Well, if he had placed that chaos warrior on the ball carrier to one spot to the left, he'd be given an assist. Exactly. He might have forgot this is a four strength piece. Ball free. And ball come free. Ah, and there's a chaos warrior down the field. Oh, he attempted the pickup. GFI and a pickup. No. That was definitely brave, but uh, it, he's still not in a bad position. I think the chaos is feeling the pressure, so he's trying to equal it with a little bit of gusto. Yeah, now you see right now this is not a good situation for Demented because all of these elves are marked. But again, they're a heavy dodge team, so he might be able to survive a, a fair amount of dodges. Really 
No, Mal, he did get. He got a blitzer free. There. There. Yeah, he got, uh, got a blitzer free. Partially free. Yeah, he'll. He's not in a tackle zone, but every spot around him is. So. Well, he could po possibly blitz and free another piece. Right. To free up another piece to go to the ball if he's thinking that, but he probably wants to try to get a blitz off on that chaos warrior that's near the ball. Right. Maybe uh, we'll see a dodge from Leoro to mark him. And then blitz with the strength for lineman. The players arrive to assist their teammate. No, he is. Oh, had to burn the reroll, got the push. Okay, he's setting up for blocks. I don't think there's any pieces that can quite reach the ball now, unless he does the dodge by the blitzer. Oh, or he does that. There we go. No. Nope. He got the pickup. Oh. At least he got the ball out of that Chaos Warriors tackle zone. Right. And it's behind him. The other guy tried to keep doing shit either. And the dodge saves the blitzer. It's an interesting play. He, uh, I'm surprised he didn't mark him in a position to serve. Yeah, he could have had him pinned. Okay, that frees up two beast men. He's going to mark the ball with one. I would hazard. He's. No, oh, he chose not to blitz. I would say when there's a chance to take a blodging piece out by a surf, you do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that that. Was a mistake the the positioning there because now if he wants to surf him, he's got to put a make an attempt to pick up the ball. You would have had to grab the ball though. That's where mm -hmm. so it would have forced you to have to grab it first. Interesting. Did he run out of time? Just doesn't want to take any risks. I think that's it. He doesn't want to take any risks. Oh. Leave the pieces marked. Honestly, I think he's going to try to blitz down and put a beast man on the ball. Because um, even if it bounces out of bounds, that's still going to favor the Dark Elves with their dodge and mobility and agility 4. To be able to get their hands on the ball more than it's going to help the beast men. Yeah. So, I would I would risk blitzing down uh, one of these beast men onto the ball. That just depends on how much you like leaving it to chance. No, I'd agree. I think if you can if you can hit one of the beastmen down and he can go into the ball and it scatters, there's a chance it'll go into an area that won't have a tackle zone on it. Or, or you can do exactly this. Same, same thing. Yeah. Now... Yeah, not the best bounce. If it had bounced towards the sidelines, it would have been free. Right. They're gathering around that little player, like halflings around a sandwich. 
Interesting. She's going to go to a single die block here. She's got quite a temper, hasn't she, Bob? You should see my That's the one thing about the, the frenzy, the frenzy pieces. Yeah, get you need to plan ahead uh, for using frenzy. Yeah. Yeah, I had my Yeti stupidly roll into a, a double red die last game and, and lucked out. Yeah, wow. Well. Now is he going to take uh, Nesmal in the, the blood? Or the bludge piece to uh, pick up the ball. I believe that's going to be a coin flip. Yeah, I believe the pickup on that would be 50%. Perfect. Yeah, the two enemy tackle zones. But you gotta get rid of your opponent first. Take it down from the 83 to the and 50. And the coin flip is good. He got it. And he rolled a six. Now he can dodge out if he he should. Yep. There you go. And he's going towards friends. Damn, we're seeing an armor break. That Homestar Runner is a engine of oh. destruction. Oh, what did wow. I say? Nenbear is dead. That's a blodging piece with an AB7. He might let this go. Yeah, he's just letting it go. AB7 is he's going to go sooner or later. And he let him go. It's a long game. Uh, Homestar Runner is certainly not done. But I looked up his casualties and the amount of games he's played, and it's a it's a sick total. I don't remember exactly, but he's got an impressive total of injuries distributed. All right, now I think we. That's him. Yeah. Throwing the dodge with the Chaos Warrior and now blitzing with the Beast Man. The scary thing about the arc, this Chaos team specifically is in the MVP there's not a good deal of bashy, heavy armored teams. It's more of the AAV and less uh, Norse and Dark Elf, High Elf seem to be common. So if he develops this team, they could be, you know, next season or the season after, trouble. Definitely. We only, we'll only have one uh, dwarf team to contend with. I think we have one orc and one lizard man, if I'm correct. I do believe there's an undead team joining us next year, though. If I'm, uh, I yeah, know. I'll be bringing in undead team. Though. Oh, okay. So that adds another bash, a little bit more bash to our league. Yeah, I need to get back to bashy. Uh, I, I found I just I can't rely on those dice enough for elves or uh, yeah. skaven. Yeah, Skaven is, you just gotta grin and bear it. <laughs> oh, I, I hate rats, I hate playing as them, I hate playing against them. They're the bane of my existence. <laughs> I don't even try to win against Skaven anymore, I just try to murder them now. Yeah, uh, just because I know I'm not winning. Them. Yeah, I know I'm not going to win that game, so I just want to kill as many Dark Elves as possible. I mean, within reason. I, I still do attempt to play the ball, but that's not my expectation. <clears throat> I do think that was my biggest mistake playing Dark Elves, as I did uh, a lot of head right to a team, um, I think when you do play low armor value, 
especially in the early game, you do focus, at least my problem was I tended to focus trying to get a numbers advantage. Right. Uh, well, it's it's funny, though, because, you know, I, I kind of felt that in the first game we played, I had left my Yeti so open. It seemed like you said, I don't care if they score the touchdown, I'm killing this Yeti. But I can't really blame right. you because that's an opportunity to take out an, a, a huge piece for the Norse. Right. So it's, um, you know, if that works, I get the touchdown, but then the Yeti's gone and you're able to score two more, you know, it's, it's a tough decision. Right. I mean, with their kills, I guess uh, I usually did have a habit of letting myself go down one nothing because you think, oh, it's easy for Dark Elves to pull out two touchdowns, especially if you're within that first four or five turns. Uh, let them have the touchdown and try to get the injury. Right. But that's... Uh, it, and that was my mistake. That put a lot more pressure on me to get the good dice. Might not have, yeah, he game. might not have wanted to do that block right there. Just Honestly, like we said earlier. completely unnecessary. Well, just no. having him mark was better, I think, in that case. Like I was saying earlier, there's some times where you have that one die block where is it better for me not to risk it and keep him standing so that he's going to have to get attacked if the other guy wants to move or force a dodge. No, so... I th honestly, it's not bad for him because that is leaving Fimir. He's still in scoring position. He can still get right to the end zone. Right, he kind of gets yeah. forgotten now. Right. You see, because he uh, he pulled the beast man up to go for, towards, for the blitz more rather than keep him back. Well, he's camouflaged well. I can barely see, like, maybe a little bit of his thigh and face, and that's about it. Right, but Stymie was, uh... I think he was... Oh! Oh! And that's... that's where that lack of block... I'm start here. ...bites you. Yes. I think... I think that was a bad move. Again, I understand wanting to use the block and mighty blow piece. Uh, but without guard going, I mean, without block going against another piece that has block is always a risky. Right. Because that, the, the both down, you know, certainly makes its appearance. Now, this is where we talk about unnecessary blocking. Uh, right. Because him succeeding in that block. Oh! Wow. There's, yeah. Oh, strong, sad. He is, yeah, yeah he's, he's crying. Yeah, that, uh, failing that one die block, uh, it, or, I'm sorry, the two die block, uh, even making that block is, has come back to bite him pretty hard. Well, you see, because we are about to see elf shenanigans. Where are we? Ooh. Uh, I thought that he would possibly go for the touchdown this time. Put I don't think he wants to give Chaos any time to bash him. Preferably, he just leaves him with a turn eight. Now is he going to bring Dodge the Witch out down? No, he's going to make them block. And risky because he could have put himself into uh, a one die situation there. But he got the back of the ball carrier covered.
Yeah, he's in good shape. Yeah. He's got a, he's got a decent... Right now, right now, Stymie can get to the ball carrier with one dodge if he dodges Bugs out, and he can take a one die block. But that strength the jump the dodge up. beast down. No, he wants that witch elf. He's hungry. He's hungry, ladies and gentlemen. And here comes the pile on. Oh, just a stun. You can live with that. He might follow it up with a foul, maybe. No, he's not, he doesn't have enough pieces surrounding her. Well, not yet, but he could set up a foul for next turn. But yeah, uh, I think Tiny's taking the approach to give him this touchdown. Uh, just if he's going to stall, make him pay for it. Right. You always have to make the fast teams pay for it when they stall. Oh! Oh! And there is the crippling shot. Game. A miss next. Leoral. Another blodge piece. Does he still risk using the apothecary? No. No. He's going to save the apothecary for the second half. If he well, can. I think he's. I think he's got to save it for. Uh, a witch elf. I mean, if he yeah. if that witch elf dies on him, uh, or his runner. Yeah, I mean, losing a level three witch elf with tackle and block. Yeah, uh, I agree. Even that four strength piece would be a little bit of a. Hmm. They're so rare. They are, but. Oh no! Another break. And this is where the uh, chaos hit hard. Is proven. And we're seeing a, one, a red die block and a beast man eats it. Stinko man. Oh, Stinko man, man is KO'd. He just ate food. Now, on an interesting note, he. Dark Elves don't have any backup players here. So they yeah, they're running a, a, a slim 11. I mean, if all of the knockouts come back, uh, they'll still be down. Oh, man. I don't think he spent any of his treasury, either. See, this is where I like to just get... Uh, disposable one. And when you start getting stat ups and lodge on your pieces, uh, you really don't want to just keep them on the line uh, because they do start to become valuable. Right. Yeah, and we're you know we're all gonna be hitting the uh, the T V crunch here pretty soon, so these dark elves are certainly gonna have to make some tough choices to trim down to the thirteen fifty. Absolutely. Uh, so maybe that is, is part of the strategy as well. If he's going to trim them down, uh, he's going to need money to replace. Right. To make some moves. Plus, there's I mean, so many Dark Elf teams in our league. There might be some trades. Yeah. Who knows? Now again, does he make the, the one go for it uh, without a reroll? I don't think the old GFI tripwire at the goal line. I don't think I wouldn't risk it right here. I mean, you're risking uh, players getting hurt. But I think right. now is just when you you dodge away and just give them. Yeah, he's gonna park it right there. Yeah. He knows and it's pretty improbable that other, uh, any enemy pieces are gonna be able to bless him effectively. And if they do, they'd probably end up pushing him in anyways. And we're gonna see one die block, and it's a skull. Oh, nasty ouch. Drop. Ouch. Ouch. ouch! Now again, that is a completely unnecessary block, and I think yeah. those those unnecessary. And had that blocks, been a KO or an injury, it could affect the game. Yeah. 
Exactly. Uh, I think I when up, you're down on in strength. Uh, yeah, and certainly with no damage. reserves, you really have to decide, what, am I going to risk this piece right now? Because I need him in a second. Oh, and the oh, pile on. Nice. What happened? Nothing. Oh. Nothing. Snake eyes. You know, him having the jump up almost makes the pile on a, a must do every time. You know, well, yeah. why do you have to, you know, you have that jump up there. That's oh, now another we're skill seeing... you invested in, so. Now uh -oh. we're seeing Stimey. Which oh. elf is sacrifice coming up? The, yeah. Corn demands blood. Again, they're going to see this is the place you're going to pay if you're not going to spoil the touchdown. Yeah. You're right. Knockout. Oh. And that, that, that could is... matter. That could make yeah. a difference. Yeah, if she doesn't come back in the second half, uh, the method's going to have an uphill battle here. Yeah, and it eliminates your whole fear of surfing with her remove. You don't, you don't have to worry about those pieces that are two away from the sideline. There you go. And the Dark Elf take a 1-0 lead right before the half. Yes. Mesmal. And that's a big defensive touchdown as well. So yes. Getting the ball back. Yep, they're going to be getting the ball, and the Chaos Warriors are going to pray for a blitz. Okay, Strong Bad needs to rally his team. Well, the Witch Elf came back. So we still got three Elves down. And... <laughs> the Witch Elf is back. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> Which is definitely a... That's, I believe, a one-player advantage for Chaos? Yeah. But having that Witch Elf is key because she's the only piece with Tackle and he does have a dodging beast man. Uh-huh. She, she'll be doing safety. Right. Oh, now we're seeing a different approach. And that's pulling the Chaos Warriors off of the line. <laughs> going to have them playing uh, more of a linebacker position, which I do enjoy doing with Chaos Warriors. They're not as mobile as the Beastmen, but uh, once they have block and mighty blow, things like that, having them being able to move around. Yeah, I think, well, I think he's not a block heavy team, so having them, especially the ones without block off the line, avoids them from getting taken out. Right. And they're, they're a tough target to blitz because of their four strength. Right. Because with, uh, oh yeah. So it's definitely going to yeah, make he's... him commit more to trying to break a cage. If he if he cages up There's on three sides with chaos you know. warriors, uh, that's a tough cage to break. Not, yeah. I oh, yeah. Now I I have uh, attempted to build teams uh, where I use the chaos warriors specifically for. Oh, we're seeing a blitz here. A blitz. This might be just what the doctor ordered. I think. Uh, oh, and it's in it. Look at where the ball is. Oh, and we're seeing Homestar Runner oh. coming back in. For another, oh, and another break. another break. Does he risk the piling on here? I would keep the piece oh. up probably here. Oh, and he went for the pickup. Oh, interesting, yeah. You put a ball in the hands of a Chaos Warrior, that's a tough target to bring down. Wow, uh... Well, I guess it's still an uh, agility. They have the agility team. of a beast man, so there's no loss there. Right. 
Um, oh, and that, that, this that's is very interesting. This is exactly what Chaos needed. Get back in this game right now. Yeah. Maybe perhaps mark a couple of those pieces with his lingering so players on the opposite side. Yeah, I think this... Uh... It'll pick up any second now, I promise. Yeah, I would say... The warrior least... didn't really help. Okay, here you go. That's... Yeah. And he uh, caught it. Caught it. Wow. Oh, boy. And the witch elf is just... safely on the opposite side of the field. This is this is not good for Demented. Uh, no, this is the worst possible start on a turn when you're receiving the ball. Right. I mean, aside from um, you getting it and fumbling it out of bounds. Right. This or uh, enough to come out on top. Or having a rock kill somebody would uh, probably be worse. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, as far as, we're, you know, we're in the playoffs. This is a winner-go-home league, and... Uh, oh, I believe this, this is for a prize, too. Yeah, I'm not sure what the prize is, but I believe that there is, a, is one. And, of course, the bragging rights of being blursed. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you're, you want to play to win. Uh, anytime you play. I mean, if I'm in playing in development, I may not mind if I lose, but I still play to win. Uh, right. Or if I know I can't win, then you play to survive. <laughs> right, right. But right now, Demented doesn't have the privilege of paid, uh, play to survive. He's He has to win, and he needs to get creative with it right now. Okay, here comes the blitz. Oh, oh and he the dodged the... He got the hit. And an armor break. Oh! With an Bubs. injury! Oh. Bubs, Bubs grabs his midsection and hobbles off. Uh, he just got a strength 4 boot to the kidney. <laughs> oh, those hurt. Oh, oh. a GFI! Does he burn the reroll? I think I think uh, that's a good call. It's it's unfortunate that when you have to use your go for it's there, but uh, I think marking that piece was important and why risk another injury? Right. Eighty three percent pretty uh, safe. It's a block. Now again choosing it's to throw the block with the blitz out or with the witch elf. Uh, that left that witch elf way out of position to be able to, to come back. All right. She's not going to be a help the next turn. No. And Homestar saying, I'm keeping this ball. Right. Now, there are two down pieces adjacent to the ball carrier when this starts, so there's certainly a blitz. Now, the the armor break that we had on the strength four lineman, what that's also done is made sure, with him being stunned, there's no way for uh, the Dark Elves to even get a two-dive block on him, even a one-dive. Right. Yeah, wow. it's going to be risky. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's... Strength 4 wasn't stunned. That's the other guy. He won't My angle was messed up. Well, no, then, yeah, then, uh... I mean, he, he can still only get a one die. Yeah, it'll be a single... A single die, but a, again, Homestar doesn't have block, so if it's a bolt down, you'd probably be okay with that. Right. Oh. Now he's, he's going to have to reduce that. But well, he can move he, the oh, that means, yeah, he's got to move the runner over. 
And then I still say you, uh, you take your shot at the blitz on the ball carrier. Uh, I mean, there's no block on either of them, so, uh, only a skull is going to keep, uh, Homestar standing. Well, other than a push. Or two pushes, the two pushes that are possible. You need to be close. So close they can smell your breath and see the... Yep, he looks like he's setting up for the blitz. Yeah. Free up another piece. And I think you have to do that. Uh, you have to take the blitz before you even try your dodges, anything like that. Um, I agree. I mean, it, it's always nice to try to get more people around the ball carrier before you do that, but uh, I don't think he is. Rolling the dice are going to be is going to be in Demented's favor. He did choose. Oh, oh well, getting the guard piece. No. Oh. Okay, there's the push. Oh. Uh, see, that's where throwing those blocks before was kind of risky because he would have had uh, a pal if he had just done the blitz first. Right. But I mean, you never know. If it, if it had gone the other way and... Uh... Oh. Now that was some elf shenanigans. Oh, dub skulls. Oh, it's no. Interesting he didn't blitz out of that. Uh, he doesn't need to blitz. I think we're going to see a surf here. I think Strong Bad's going to put him in the stands. There you go. He realizes he has plenty of time. What? He wants to... F no. He's not feeding... No. That huh. is surprising. I don't... Uh... I know. Uh, you, you're not going to pass up on that surf. It was begging to happen. Uh, right, because now he's left the backside of his ball carrier uh, open with an unmarked path to him. I mean, right now that's still a red die block, but... With elf shenanigans, it doesn't have to stay one. No, he has a free blitzer up at the top too that can come in. Yeah. He won't leave him alone anytime soon. That's why I thought for sure he would have blitzed with his warrior and will first move the guy in front of him up and then follow him out with the blitz. Just to move down the field and to get further well, see, I don't think it's necessarily a big problem uh, for him to stay where he's at, but, yeah, I would have kept that cage, uh, at least tried to keep the cage intact, uh, would have blitzed for the surf, and then moved him back into position where he was. Yeah. Put pressure on the ball. Can't argue with that. Yep, here comes the blitz. And, and that works without that block. Oh, favorable bounce. I think uh, he's going to dodge the runner through, pick up the ball. Um, yeah, bring your witch elf over for some support. She's gonna screen then, off some of the pursuit. Right. That's a dangerous uh, place to be. I think runners gotta go for that ball. He made the dodge. There he goes. No. You just gonna have to make one more dodge and uh, pick up the ball. And double. He's got box guards. Ooh. Oh. 
Level sixes. That's, two I mean, sixes. they were both two pluses. But... Yeah, easy rolls, but it's, yeah. It's extra salty when you see two sixes as the opponent. Yeah, yeah. Especially when you could have made those... five, or, five or higher rolls. <laughs> he would have made them. Yeah, well, uh... That when you realize those two sixes would have broken his armor. Oh. And would have that, that would have injured him. Yeah, it would have definitely he would have rolled a ten on the injury roll instead of just running rolling Another a ten badly on the armor break. Yeah. The attacker has an assist. So, uh, that's just speculation, you know. <laughs> oh. He can't know what the dice are before you roll. Oh, another armor. And another stun. And another set of box cars on that armor too. There's one difference I have noticed since the patch. Um, it does seem like the RNG tends to bunch up numbers a lot more than it used to. Uh, I don't know if we want to broadcast about the conspiracy of the RNG. <laughs> I will say that's touchy. <laughs> I, I stand behind the conspiracy of the RMG. Uh, yeah, the the RNG. Uh, I mean, it's it's made games more exciting, but on the other hand, when it's not working out for your favor, uh, oh, it's, it's got, easy it's to the get worst salty. sometimes. Oh yeah. Yeah, especially in a game where somebody's making the, the, the really hard rolls easily, and you can't make right. the simplest of rolls. Right, I mean, he had two two pluses, he rolled sixes, these were 67%, uh, and he rolled snake eyes again. So yeah. we're seeing a lot of snake eyes uh, and a lot of uh, box cars coming up. That's the uh, stiny the four... special right there. Right, even the four is on the armor roll. That's just my you know, conspiracy theory here. Oh, you've got a uh, Bob turned on. I turned him off a while ago. <laughs> a what? Uh, you've got uh, the announcers. Go oh, yeah. It's been a long time since I've listened to him. I, I kind of miss Bob a little bit. I just got tired of hearing the same stuff. <laughs> they definitely need to record more dialogue for the announcers. And with one good armor break, we've got Femir in the free and clear. So they managed to overcome that blitz, get the ball back, and, uh, and bring the it in. The Dark Elves have played really well. Yes. Yeah. And the screen is completely up now. Yeah, there's uh, there's no He's way that can even get close. And make, yeah, and it's going to be some GFIs even to touch anyone. Oh, he's going to focus on the Witch Elf. Oh. Oh. You see an armor break. He's done. Pile on. Gonna pile on. Oh, Let's a KO. Pile on. I wouldn't do that. Doesn't it sometimes... Uh, it could change that to a stun. No, nope. still a knockout. I think it's... I've seen it change that to a stun when you do it on a KO. Unity is uh, it like rolls it again, and I've seen it. They might have fixed it, I but think I remember it, that. I thought, it, I thought it was a stun the first time. That re rolled no, I could set KO right away. It was like a KO rolled into a KO. It had rolled a stun, but he has a mighty blow, so it went to a knockout. Right. Well, yeah, because he rolled a 7 on the injury and a 7 on the piling on, so. Right. So either way, just... adding Mighty Blow comes up to an eight. Now he's just trying to make sure that uh... he doesn't stall. Right. right. 
Looks like he's trying to protect his piece from getting fouled. I think the Dark Elves are just going to take this. Yeah, you, you. I think you just have to. Um, I mean, that's going to give you a chance to get your Witch Elf back up, which may or may not be a good thing. Um, well, he can Blitz uh, Homesar and then screen off Stinkle Man and then take his time again. It's going right after Chaos Warriors. Strong Bad. I guess that's who the team is named after, obviously. I am not familiar with the reference. He's the oh. uh, also. He's the only um, Chaos Warrior that hasn't leveled up. I'm not sure where, where what strong bad is from. Yeah, neither. No, neither. Pom pom is. You just got knocked the bleep out. Ow. <laughs> yeah, these dark elves are certainly putting on the hits. Yeah. Oh, I mean, the, the little showboating there. Oh, yeah. I have the habit of doing the same thing, making sure that you don't go into the touchdown until the very last piece of movement. The movement, last movement space. I think everybody does that. They move as far away from their ball carrier as they can. That's right. That the uh, that death has certainly woken up this dark elf team. Yeah, it's that's the they are. Fighting for the glory of Menbear. Do you think they'll dedicate the win to him? Sure. It's even pieces now. Both have two out. Although I'm sure that's not the way he thought he'd go. I was expecting it to be an audio uh, asphyxiation accident. But I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I crack myself up. That's what matters. And I'm sure you got a chuckle or two out of our viewers. Right. I'm sorry. Did they lose a turn or gain a turn? I think they gained a turn. Yeah, it looks like they gained it. I, mean, I think not being able to capitalize on that uh... armor break with a looks like a stun. Yep. Yeah, yeah I, I I think it's the game comes down to that play where he chose not to surf. Uh, he yeah. chose not to surf. No, I agree. Right yeah, oh. that guy definitely should have been surfed. He would yeah, still have I, been I... able to keep a man advantage in that sector of the pitch. Yeah, it would have kept the back end of uh, the ball carrier safe. Uh, I think if he's looking back at the replay uh, or rethinking this game, I think that's that was the turning point. Was uh, it was just that one decision? Because if he had uh, if he had served him, it would be more than likely a one-one game. Uh, right. Did you see the pass? I mean, you can't say for sure, but I think that's... I think the odds would have been in, in favor of the chaos had that happened. Right. Interesting. That was a long throw for the Beastman. Oh, he he probably he's... realizes, I need to score ASAP and hope for another blitz. Get this tied up before it ends so we can go into OT. Is this the... Who has the ball? Is this the guy with the dodge? No, this is no, uh, extra move, move seven. Yeah. Poop Smith. Poop Smith. Poop Smith made his return. Gets his touchdown, yeah. it'll be a big return. 
This might be a surfing here. The witch elf is eyeballing him and counting the distance to the sideline. Right. He needs to free her up first. He's got plenty of pieces to help. Well, Mark? I think it's just a dodge and a blitz now. He won't even have to dodge if he positions these two pieces. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Pom Pom oh. got injured. Oh, Pom Pom. No long term effect, but Pom Pom's taking some hits today. Boy, these elves are hitting hard. Yeah. Uh, and especially they, they seem to have... Goodbye. The Poopy. Oh, Poopy is joining the crowd. And he's okay, oh. folks, but he's going to be sitting out. And we're seeing the ball get tossed around by the fans. He says Blood Bowl isn't interactive. Oh, that's a nice position for the runner to scoop it up. Good job the crowd. I guess this is throwing them. That's why they're in the stands and not on the field. Now he's been utilizing his runner with pass. But he I guess it's kinda of a little surprising he hasn't put catch on anybody to I believe that pass was just added. Yeah. He might have been yeah. one of the pieces that a, just leveled up. Right. It might be a direction that he wants to go. Uh, for next season. Right. Yeah, leave a, leave a side of the cage open. Let him blitz your runner so he can uh, dump off. Well, the pass to... will combo with uh, dump off. Yeah. Does it? Yeah. Or it does, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Because it still counts. Yeah, so you got to reroll if you fumble the dump off. Right. Uh, that could be an interesting path to go to have the runner with the pass. Then you give him uh, nerves of steel. Yeah, nerves of steel with them is super. Right. Then that dump off is pretty much good to go every time. Then if you have a, bl uh, a blitzer with. Catch and nerves of steel. Yeah, you know. that's a lethal combination. Right. Looks like he's just trying to play keep away, and he wants he wants he wants a shutout here. Yeah. He wants to say you know chaos can, can come in here and score on us. Gone into the opponent's tackle zone. Yeah, sure they may good. spill our blood. Well, that's. Oh, he even used the reroll. He's trying. He's, he's he wants he, he wants some pain. He wants yeah. blood. They say misery loves company. Nah, I think that sure does. <laughs> <laughs> or she sure does. But again, I think the dodge has worked well for the elves. It's uh, definitely kept their side of the, of the field clear, uh, their injury box fairly clear. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and you have there's one no dead. tackle to worry about. Right. Uh, I mean, it, it makes it less likely during the the blocks for your players to go down and it, it also allows you those rerolls to, to keep away. Right. And off the, I believe that's just what we're going to see from Demented. Uh, cage up in the end zone uh, and just don't leave anybody in tackle zones. That's it. Get in their face. At this point I wouldn't even be throwing blocks. I would just be playing keep away, only let them get their blitz, one blitz a turn. Here comes the last chance. Ooh, is this little vanity pass? Or is he gonna try to score with that blitzer? 
it's gonna be... Wow. Okay. So no, Demented's not playing keep away. He is... Uh... Well, he wants to get a third. Yeah. Stinkleman says, uh-uh, I'm skilled. I see a little uppercut you're throwing. Ooh. He just dances with her for now. And stays up. Now he also has dodge, so he can still uh, come around for a two die block on the ball carrier if he dodges out. I think Ooh. he's going to have to. I think he's got to dodge him out and. Uh... Well, he can't resist hitting with Homestar. <laughs> <laughs> Understand oh, the piling yeah. on. Oh. He loves that. Oh, he did his Hulk Hogan yeah. impression and uh, dropped the leg. I'm gonna see some Stinko Man heroics here. He wants to get all his blocks in. Yep, uh, this is just the, the pain game now. Uh, if I can't win, uh, oh, tackle comes in. Oh, the tackle. That tackle, oh boy. Again, and there was a one moves. anyway, so Stymie probably figured there would have been an, another one anyways had he made the dodge, had the tackle not been there. He probably right. figures that's just another Stymie special right there coming anyways. I mean, it was a one, two, and two, so it, it would have been fails either way. Uh, even without the tackle, it would have been a 67. Right. The attacker has an assist. At the same time. Is the assist going to be enough to come out on top? Jeremiah Cool always superior skilled. Oh. <laughs> no, man, he oh, said oh, off. seeing an ejection. But he wanted to take a shot at home, so he's been jumping on people all day. Yeah. I, mean, I guess it's worked out that uh that he didn't headhunt Homestar. Yeah, he's he's focused. I think more on on moving the ball and actually getting a, you know getting a lead and and then adding to it. Right. Uh, definitely, think we've seen some uh, great play from Demet. He's definitely a much better dark elf coach than I am. <laughs> uh, it's just a matter of yeah. He came in with a plan, him. and he kept to it. Right. Uh, sometimes it's it's easy to let ourselves. At least, I had that bad habit. I think when I was going on tilt from losing so much, uh, I had that habit where yeah, if I saw, especially early in the game, if I saw an opportunity to foul, I'd take it. Uh, right. To get and not worry about defense. Right. Uh, and yeah. then also you end up with players getting ejected and. Uh, You know, if it, you know, if it works for you, great. But uh, again, it's just being that dependent on the dice. Yeah. No, I think um, 
I think it's like you said. He put that secondary. If the opportunities are there, I'll take them. But I, I want to get. I want to get some points. I want to outdistance this team in touchdowns. Right. This is the playoffs. I want to win. Yeah. No, this is the finals. Yeah. Or yeah. This is the finals. This is the Blurst Cup. It's uh, it's been a game of uh, hits though. I mean, the the dark elves have certainly pounded the chaos as much as you would have expected the chaos to do to them. Right. I mean, I think we've seen a lot of armor breaks. Uh, Homestar Runner has still uh, lived up to his reputation, uh, and now we could also look. I mean, at turn sixteen, uh, Stymie's gonna he's gonna be able to take his shots. Uh, you know, if he wants to add a few more SPP for his Chaos Warriors. I think he was worried at the beginning because he was the cap was already an issue. He didn't want to level up too much. But right. it would be interesting to see Homestar get the MVP, which would give him his fourth skill up. Because he's exactly, what is that, five away? Yeah, he's five away. And that it would be interesting. Giving... That would almost be a curse. Right, and giving Homestar a uh, block is just going to make him that much meaner. Oh, a monster. See, that's where that, that had he had block, he would have taken the piece down on that first roll. Right. Now with these guys having dodge, it eliminates that. Oh, it's tough. Oh. And dub skulls to end oh, the game. to end it. Nuffle you. Well, thank you to all our viewers, and uh, good job to the teams. Good game. Thank you to Mr. B for doing the play-by-play. -play. It was spot on, as usual. 15 to 8 armor breaks, but it certainly looked like the elves had the advantage there. Well, yeah, uh... Well, not out of their not eight, even. six were knockouts or better. Out of the 15 that Strong Bad had, seven were knockouts or better. And that's right. on the same number of blocks. They both they had, had 54. 54. I don't think I've ever seen that. No. That's interesting. They had the exact same amount of blocks successful. Yeah. And they both resorted in six casualties. Yeah. Good game. Very good game. Good job, Demented, in winning the uh, Blurst Bowl, year one of MVP. Absolutely. He earned it. Um, now, this is every uh, playoffs that I've seen has had Dark Elves winning. Uh, they're a tough team. I, I know there's certain people, call me, uh, that don't like Dark Elves, but they're, uh, they've are got a good mix of things, especially when you've got your Witch Elves or your assassin and those uh, high point pieces in there working for you. Right. Hey guys. No, well, I'm going to sign uh, off. I need to get ready for yeah, my but, own you wanna, bowl. You want to side off transition here. It's uh, Stymie here. Yeah. want to be the first to congratulate um, our man Demented for winning the Blurst of the Blurst. Could not get those armor breaks. Muddy Blow was not worth the money. It was printed on. But apart from that, great game. And I, I don't begrudge him his victory. We do have some time between the kickoff and the next game, though. But I'm just going to leave the the Twitch rolling because we've already got a decent audience, and I advertised the 9.15 kickoff pretty heavily, so I don't want to jump the gun. So I've told everybody 9.15 because other people were getting antsy. I guess the action was too good and was too great. Let's see if we can How get many, it. Uh... Um, it fluctuated, but we had between 10 and 12 for the majority of the game, which I expected to be not as important as the main game, so I expect more people to stick to this, and also with later start time, I expect. Um, let me see if Demented wants to hop in here and chat for a little bit about that game while well, we've got the time. If we're uh, not sure, I'm going to take a little break here. But yeah, I'll ahead. be back. Okay. Yeah, we know when it starts, but come back earlier, went around. Okay. Hello? 
Hey, Demented. There you are. What, um... How's it going? How's it going? What, um... What do you think of that game, huh? That was something else. Good game, man. You but, had me. Uh... You had me with that positioning. <laughs> I, 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 I effed up on turn two. I wasn't... I didn't even see that piece there. I'm not gonna lie. I've always been a I had a little, I had a little recreation on going. So that was my bad on not paying attention. But how about that blitz? That must have pissed you off. I thought for sure I was gonna score after that blitz. I was like, oh, oh that's... yeah, that was the perfect blitz. It just was in that open side of the field with the lone unskilled lineman. He was just food for you. So yeah, that, that gave you a great shot at getting back right in there. Yeah, and then I and then I the probably moment. um you, you dude your your elves held up man, I'm gonna submit to league officials to check that elf armor. I hit you with I I can't believe how many pylons your your elves survived. There was at least four pylons that yielded nothing. I mean you must have been like, uh, but I'm still in yeah. here. I, I was just off the headset for. Yeah, I mean, I saw that I could have committed all those resources to doing it, and then just doing it. But I don't know. I was, I was just, I thought that, I thought that uh, Homestar Runner was gonna take it down. I believe him so much. I assumed he was gonna knock him right off the pitch. We were gonna be fine. Uh, I didn't. I don't, I don't know if my my buddy, my bug, I couldn't even reach him. So, but it was a tough game. Okay. Kami should be in here any minute now. We got a 9:15, 6:15 start time for our main event game. That is Spike correct. Magazine. And who is playing? The the um, guy coming up. Players and fans. It's it's yeah it's uh, demented or it's um, midway monster with the Viringian guard undefeated against Dalt with Swole also undefeated. So just like the NFL. The bye week is worth so much in uh, in uh, our league, apparently, because the both teams that with the bye week also uh, won their games Made getting into in. the finals. Uh, we just got Kamikoze in here, league commissioner and co-runner uh, of NBP with with myself, president. Um, you want to come in, say a couple words? Sorry, pop in there. A couple words. Very. Very funny. Nailed it. Uh, you did nail it. <laughs> I saw up until halftime, and then um, I had to, you know, be an adult for a few minutes. So I don't know how this blurs to the blurs, blurs it out. Um, two but more I've, touchdowns I've scored. Um, not okay. by my team. No, not the, by the Spats. No. Not well, they, by they've been having the trouble. Spats. They've been trouble finding the end zone a lot this season. They, no, it's, it's, they, 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 they don't. Yeah. They don't have no. They don't have any problem hitting people in the face. That's true. And in the stomach, and in the groin, and in other parts of the body. But it's yeah. Uh, they don't seem to like the ball much. They don't. They. You know what? I had a great chance with a blitz on the second half, but I couldn't get the cage short up. Um. So that hurt me. Also, the fact that he didn't need to waste hardly any rerolls on his go for it's or failed dodges because there weren't any. And the one time I got cheeky and decided to fail, try to dodge with my piece that had that has dodge on him, I got a stymie special before I could lay the, the hammer on his witch elf. But he just well, out, he just outpositioned just... me all game. He he did well. He did. He, I can't I can't take anything away from him. He outplayed me with dark elves. He because he positioned exactly how you would. He was he did not he was not afraid of Homestar Runner. He was like I don't care how many pieces you injure or kill. I'm gonna put I'm gonna base him. That's how that's how <laughs> confident I am. I got a shed TV anyway, man. I'm bloated for next season. There you go. <laughs> yeah, de Dems down, uh, de Dems down to 1250. You can pick up a fresh lineman, or even a blitzer, and still be at the cap thanks to uh, Stymie's smashy bashy thrashy. Thanks to Murder Ball. Actually, no, you, you can uh, just pick up the. I uh, will. I will say this though. As bummed as I am that I didn't win, I both didn't get any fan factor. And avoided level ups, which you're demented. at 1340. And yes, I'm at 1340. But listen, I'm at 1340. But by doing so, and also winning 50,000 gold, I now have enough gold to fire my movement plus beast man, which will trim me down to 1310, 
and I'll have just enough gold, actually I have 60,000 gold, to follow this Chaos Warrior and call up my block Mighty Blow Chaos Warrior and be at 1350 for the start of next season. Strong Bad's in trouble. Yeah, he's the he's, titular the titular player of of Strong Bad's awesome team. He's going to be fired for Strong Bad though, so I wouldn't. <laughs> we've got I wouldn't, a, we found a better Strong Bad. We found a better Strong Bad. We're gonna have to let you go. Stronger Bad. Yeah, I'll show the viewers yeah. at home. He's actually because in in NBP for any viewers out there who are not current members of NBP, the fastest growing PS4 Blood Bowl 2 league. Uh, in the nation with no empirical evidence whatsoever to back that up. <laughs> now, as I say that... <laughs> zero support. Zero support and empirical evidence to back that up. I say that we have a great developmental system, and enough will be praised. You have the opportunity to bring up two players from a developmental team to your pro team in the course of the season. You can bring up one player during the season. The other player you have to wait for the end of the season. Or you may bring both players up at the end of the season. I took advantage of one call-up during the season, which is what I, how I got my jump up, uh, Mighty Blow, uh, Chaos Warrior, and uh, Pylon Chaos Warrior, but I will be calling up this fine specimen right here, a block Mighty Blow Chaos Warrior from the Poopsmiths, which is Strong Bad's Awesome Team's developmental unit. He is going to be I ready myself, to go. I myself called up my... Uh, Block Witch Elf mid season. That's good. Did a lot of work. Somebody commented in the chat, and of course I don't have the chat open, so I can't see it. I'll have to ask them to open it. You gotta start getting that uh, audio chat, bro. How do I do it? Tell me how I'll to do go it. Go into advanced settings. On advanced settings on the, and the, the broadcast. Android app? No, in the broadcast. In the broadcast. So it's under. So oh, I, so I gotta go into the broadcast itself. You just you just. Oh, advanced settings. Would you look at that? Display messages. Display, oh, comments to speech. Okay, all right, all right, I'm not. All right. It's now been enabled. I have now then enabled can... the comments to speech. Normal is a good thing, and then the pitch to your... The, the pitch to your liking. Well, let me test and see what it says. I'd skip high. I would skip high because if, the, if you want to bite my style, yes. you can go with the low pitch. That's what, what I do, but... No. It's going Dude, through uh, my TV, though. Well, that's why you need it. Why are, I don't... Do you have a... Your headset is... Is it a mono piece or it's is a mono it a piece. stereo piece? It's a mono piece. It's, one, it's a boom oh. with an earpiece. Well, you can put all the audio through the earpiece, and then you have no feedback issues. Yeah, but then I hear the... I guess if I leave the, the audio low, it won't really be bad, right? Because I don't like that. I don't yeah, like and, that then, and then you here. switch you switch the, pot, the, the party... Uh, you favor the part the party audio because you're going to be broadcasting most of the time, so who really cares if they hear anything? I'm just going to look at the chat. This seems like a bad idea. Well, I mean, for, for, for commentary, it's, it's, it's absolutely crucial to have uh, this open if you're not going to be uh, hearing it automatically. Yeah, I'll look at I'll look it and then I'll be able to respond or text. Oh, I see what you're saying. So if I have adjusted all the way to party audio, none and non-party audio, then I won't be able to hear anything, right? Yeah. But then you still have to, don't you still have to go in and have it go through your earpiece? Is that a PlayStation setting? When you're in party, you out, oh, my, my goodness. Yeah, no, I mean, oh yeah, so what you want to do is you want to long press and then go to sounds devices. Yeah. Who didn't know how to do that, like me? Yes. 
Yeah, 9.15, that way people can get in there. They know that it says 9.15. I have to change the uh, name. Ouch. So we lost, we lost, we're losing you on, oh yes. Absolutely, thank you, Demented, great. Um, the league will furnish your gift at some point. You are the winner of a $10 PlayStation Store card, which will play for your Necromantic team, which that you can't you can't beat that. So, but thank you for playing. Thank you for meeting that hard start time, even coming out of work and probably getting the glowers from the wife. I appreciate that. Um, I've completely forgot what I'm looking for under. What am I looking for, Kami? Audio devices. All right, that's not so bad, and people, but people, people want to hear. It didn't make any sound. Yes. Physical kudos. Now I can't hear the comments to speech why because I've got the party audio mixed too too much to party. No. You have that on? Yeah. Okay. And then why can you Yeah. I can barely hear it. Is that because of my party mix? Cuz I got favorite party audio or just audio mix? No, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna do the way that I always do because I look at the at the chat. Don't worry. So I'm just gonna have to look at the chat. I wish you could rename the chats at. Uh, I'm turning off the comments to speech. Turning that party. Yeah, well, I told them to stick around. The next game starts in 19. We're going to try. I'm going to end up having to indirectly boot them because I'm going to have to rename the thing because I don't want the name of the, the game to be the wrong game as it's going on. The the shock and the, the scandal of it. I, I don't think our league would be able to survive the scandal of something like that. Where did I find audio devices? No, I don't. Not that scandal. He's coming back. He needed a chat break. He's very professional. He's union, I think. So in between each game we broadcast, he gets... I believe so. I believe... I believe there'll be some shop steward talking. Let me switch the name of the Twitch. So people don't be alarmed. It's going to stop. And then the broadcast is going to start right up again. 